Of all the unofficial holidays out there, and there are a lot of silly, I'll say stupid, unofficial holidays, there is one we can really get on board with. Did you know August is Family Fun Month? We never pass up a reason around here to bring the gang together. And in August, celebrating Family Fun Month seems particularly appropriate. Our party and family fun contributor, Celeste Whitney, picked up on this reason to celebrate. As the family fun contributor, this is kind of your month. I know, right? Isn't, Isn't that it? fun? Yeah, yeah. I know it's the end of the month, but I'm still gonna take advantage. Well, here's my concern about this concept, because I'm always on board for family fun. But I find myself thinking it is the end of the month. We are shifting into back to school mode. Are we just looking for pressure to jam more things in? Oh, heavens. No. Uh, moms and kids alike are pretty pooped by yeah, this time of year, right? We've true. already been to Lagoon and camping and swimming and we're tired and we don't want any elaborate things going on. So no, this is opposite. It's like a time to relax and, and focus. What's the goal here at the end of the day? Well, the goal with this is I think starting school is hard and scary and, and friends can come and go and change and it's easy for kids to start thinking their friends are closer to them than family, right? Mm. They get more bonded to their friends over the summer and through the school, so to start school, I think the best tool is to have a firm foundation at home to get a come and cry on your shoulder when you know, something didn't go right. To know that relationship at home, those family relationships are sound and secure. Yes. I love that. You've got kind of a game and activity and with it, a principle that yes. is at play too. So let's jump in. The first principle we're talking about is problem solving. Problem You've solving. Got helpers. Okay, so we're gonna save Hi guys. Sam. Sam here, if you look up to this one, this is how it starts. Sam's the worm. Okay. This is his boat, but it's been capsized. Uh-oh. It's flipped over and his life-saving device is under it. Uh-oh. We've got to save him and flip his boat back over and get him in his flotation device, oh. but the only thing we can use are two <gasps> paper clips. Oh my goodness, so let's just break down the material. Sam comes down to a gummy worm. Yes. The life-saving device looks like a gummy lifesaver. It's a gummy lifesaver, yep. And this is just a little cup? Just a little cup, right, any guys. cup, bowl, whatever. What do you got? So you can break apart the paper clips. Uh -huh. You can stretch anything. You don't want to poke him or no. that would hurt him. No, it would deflate him. You don't want to deflate the, you know, floating device. So it's it's strategic. <laughs> They've got to talk. This looks hard. It's fun because my mom did it with one of my little kids. Uh huh. Oh, oh. My cute niece Winter did it with <laughs> one of the small kids. Winter, get him in the boat, girl. <laughs> I know, right? So it's hard and, and it can take a while. They're sure. like, this takes forever and this sure. is so hard. But they're giggling and, and having fun the whole time. Yeah. And, and old, young, they all have fun with this one. And this is something problem solving you can all work together to yes. solve the problem. And they've got to really figure it out because oh. it's a lot harder than it you looks. You keep going. I've got faith in you. I've got faith in you. Good job. Good job. All right. Our okay. next activity focuses on communication and connection. Yes. Well, this is still part of adapting. Okay. And we're going to use these two chairs, you and I. Okay. And we're just going to demonstrate a little game called the lap game. Okay. Okay. There's some questions you on, your on your lap right now. Well, you can sit <laughs> near me on okay. this chair to okay. start okay. with. Okay. Okay, so picture we have the list of questions and the first one might be like, have you ever ridden a horse? Yes, okay. I have. So I have not, I have, but I'm gonna pretend that I have not. Okay. So if you say yes, you have to move to the seat to your left. Okay. If you say no, you stay the same, okay? Oh. So if I said no and you said yes, now what happens? I sit on your lap. You have to sit on my lap <laughs> or raise yourself. Squish. <laughs> and, then, and once in a while, there's a third person that comes into oh, so play. So you're piling in. So it gets you you're awkward. You're going to be awkward at school at some point. I don't feel awkward. Do you feel awkward? Do I don't feel awkward. Do you feel awkward? <laughs> okay. But you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. they have to kind of learn to adapt to their surroundings. Okay. And it's a good way to kind of shake the giggles off at home. Yes. And then you're more familiar if your teacher sits you next to someone you don't know and, and you can kind of shake it off. I home. like that. I like that. Breaking the bubble. Yes. Okay. What's next? Okay. So the next one is communicate. Okay. And we're gonna draw, it's, it's called draw a twin, you and I. We're gonna play this game again. Okay. I'm gonna give you a pad of paper. All right. And I have a pad of paper too, and here's a marker. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna draw a picture, a very simple picture. Okay. And then I'm gonna have you draw the same one, and I can only tell you how to do it, but I can't tell you what I've drawn. Okay. Okay, so first draw, Two dots okay. in the middle of the page. It's a smiley face. Stop it. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Never. Okay, so underneath those two dots, yeah. draw a large half U. I mean a U. This is so not a smiley face. It's not. Stop it. <laughs> okay, now circle the whole thing. Okay. 
And let's see hey. if we got the same picture. Okay, twinsies. cute. Twinsies. Wow, that's actually really quite <laughs> twins. I'm a little happier than you. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so here's fun. the fun thing is, is it gets really frustrating and kids don't know how to explain what they've drawn. Yeah. drawn. Yeah. And if you don't draw the same thing, it's really funny. So like take these two. Uh-huh. Um, my mom drew a ice cream cone and she explained it, but she forgot to say which way the cone was, cone was facing. Uh -huh. So, you know, so you understand? Yes. That you need to communicate so better. So that ice cream cone turned into the Pope, pretty yes. much, right in front of our eyes. Yes, another communication skill is a printable on the site, and these are tons of just questions. And what I've done is there are a bunch of fun, co fun colors, and when the kids are doing chores, they can have as many Skittles as they want to answer questions. Oh. So it gives you conversation and yes. it also helps them know what to ask their new peers at school. So they pull a green question. Yes. They're answering it and then they get a green Skittle. Yes. I like that. Yeah, because I think kids meet new people and they're like, uh... Yes. I appreciate that so much. My mom mm -hmm. was really good at that, and I've said this before, at role-playing, right? Yes. Arming you with the communication skills you yes. need to say what you want to say in the moment. What a great way to fire them up with those back-to-school get It kind of gives use. them something planted in their brain that they can use again, to, And then you learn stuff about them. And right? you get Skittles. We have clear ones, or not clear. We have empty ones. Okay. And that means they have to come up with something I don't know about them. Oh. And if they do, they get to skip a chore. Very fun. So I get to learn secrets about yeah. them, too. Printable on our website? Yes. Thank you for that. What else? Okay, next is to create endorphins. Okay, most games create endorphins, right? But I think of how kids or why kids become friends with other people at school. They're either sharing secrets, mm -hmm. right, or they're having fun. And when you have fun, that triggers your brain to think that that person is fun that you had fun with, right? So we want those happy feelings at home. So we want them to be triggered with us yes. when they think of fun as well. So this one is called Roll of Face. Okay. And you, and this is again a printable, but if you Google image search Roll of Face, um, there's a million of them. I've like never heard pumpkins. of this. Pumpkins, oh they're so funny okay. and so fun. Okay. Okay, so what you do is, is each one of you take a turn, and on your first turn you roll the head. Gotcha. Okay, and your second turn, you roll the eyes, then the nose, and so forth, and then you get a funny face. Oh, this is cute. This is so really cute. So you can cute. play the same one yeah. a million times because you're going to get a different face every time. And giggles ensue every it's time. It's super giggly, and I mean, that goes along with any game that you prefer. Yeah. I was asking a friend what her favorite game was, and she would just um, hosted uh, for an exchange student mm. at her house. It was so sad to see her go. And she, they said, what do you want to do for your last day? And she said, can we please play hide and go seek again? Oh, Isn't that the cutest that thing? That tugs at your heart. That's I adorable. Know. So like, it's, it's all the fun games that you grew up with. Yes. But it's just creating those endorphins to share. Putting those extra happy moments into it. Yes. All right, a couple more for us. Okay. Um, building trust Building is next. trust. And this one is mostly about there's the trust games where you fall and close your eyes and hope someone catches you. Mm -hmm. This is more about trust, like, mentally. Okay. And this is, again, sharing secrets. And this is a quick one because I just have another printable. And these ones are questions that I put in the lunch sack. Okay. So it's kind of reminding them about you while it's like a... A game for while you're apart, oh, and that's they can fun. come home and answer these questions, Give us and a you question. keep their secrets. Give us a sample. Oh, there's a bunch of them. If you had to live inside a TV show for a whole week, which show would you be in? Well, Studio Five, of course. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> that was too easy. But how fun <laughs> is the fun is continuing through their lunch hour through yes. their day? So you kind of okay. keep you with them as well. The last one is really fun. Oh, oh, that. One, the building the trust. Um, there's another fun take on the two lies. Two truths and a lie. Okay. Um, you have them acted out. You write down a truth uh -huh. on a piece of paper uh -huh. with your name on it. Okay. And then someone calls up three people to go in the other room and shows them that. Okay. And they have to come back to the group and act out, or not act, but like convince you of that that truth is there. Through their role playing, their yes. charades. So if your truth was you had ridden a horse when you were five, I have to convince the group that it was me oh, and you okay. and someone else, and they have to decide which one is telling the truth. It becomes the ultimate art of persuasion. Yes. All right. Is About that fun? 30 seconds left. You've okay. got some cute helpers over here helping yes. us. Yes. What are okay. they doing? So these guys over here. Right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hang out go? with them. Yeah. Okay. These guys over here, it's learn together hey, game. Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. Okay, so this one's fun because 
It's a would you rather printable, okay? And they can pass them all out ahead of time or you can just have a sheet in the middle. Uh -huh. And what they do is they have to answer, would you rather say it's have a cat or a dog, right? Uh-huh. And everyone in the group who chose your same answer, you pass the string to. Okay. So it shows who you, you know, you have things in common. Uh-huh. And you learn a bunch about each other and that you have these things in common and it ties, it shows you that we're all tied together. That we're connected in more ways than we realize. Yes. Physically and literally. And yes. It's fun, who's got the toughest hold here? You got a few strings kind of falling through your fingers. Celeste, so fun. All of these printables available on the Studio 5 website, so we are putting the family fun right in your hands. Thank you. Thank you. Great principles at play, and thanks you guys. Tough research, right? To play games? Yeah, tough work. They're ready for back to school for sure.